And what they're trying to do is set an agenda that either candidate will also have to run against as we go into the November elections. Political attack ads are all over your TV as the race for Oregon's governor starts to heat up. Today, we're looking at the ad that calls out Governor Brown for failing to reform the state's public employee retirement system, known as PERS. Here's part of that ad. Government employee pensions are draining money from our classrooms. Even after Oregon increased school funding by $400 million, districts are still forced to lay off teachers and cut programs. One former state employee gets pension payments of over $76,000 a month. A month! But Governor Brown refuses to require government employees to contribute to their pension costs. Maybe it's because she's taken money from unions who oppose pension reform. It's a hard-hitting attack ad, and there's no doubt the state's in trouble because of PERS. It's more than $20 billion in the red, and unless someone does something, the pension fund will continue to suck money out of education, state and city services, local school districts, and essential services. The ad was put together by the business-oriented nonprofit group Priority Oregon. But is it entirely true? Obviously, the governor's campaign says it's not, sending us this statement that says, quote, it's a lie. The governor does require employees to contribute to their pension costs. As a result of bargaining negotiations between the state and unions, employees now pay a 6% pickup into their retirement accounts. But political expert Jim Moore says the ad is factual. However, you may need to watch it with a grain of salt. They're factually true. They are, in terms of context, false. And that, Moore says, is because technically, public employees do contribute 6% to their retirement accounts. The legislature passed that law in 2003 that required it. But that money is not PERS. It goes into a contribution account, like an IRA, that actually belongs to the employee. Semantics, maybe, but technically true. There have been a lot of proposals, and one set of proposals, it's fascinating to me to watch this, but kind of from the Republican side, but some moderate Democrats have said, you know, if we had the employees put their money straight into PERS instead of into the side account, that would be millions of more dollars that we wouldn't have to make up from local school districts or cities paying into PERS. Um, and so they're trying to say, Kate Brown ought to be calling for that reform. To be clear, the governor of Oregon, no matter who it is, does not make laws. The legislature does. And when it comes to public employees' contribution, this attack ad is calling out Governor Brown for not working harder to make the public employees pay into their PERS accounts. And the ad claims that's because unions don't want it and the governor needs that union support. A group called Defend Oregon's Values, funded by unions, is working with Governor Kate Brown to criticize her opponent, Newt Bueller's record on health care. We're going to take a closer look at the truths behind that ad on Monday. Back to you.